What's up everybody, welcome to Vulcan Moto. After about a month of waiting for parts for the carburetors, I finally got them, so today we're gonna try to get the engine back up and running. Alright guys, we're back in the workshop. Uh, so before I go on and put on everything, I want to show you what I actually bought. So we got four of these, which are the new um, intake manifold um, rubber connectors or rubber boots. Uh, compared to the old ones, so for example, all right. So compared to the old ones, you can see how. These are obviously like brand new, they're not deformed in any sort of way. Um, so really all, I'm, all I need to do is move over the clips and uh, mount them on. Uh, the other thing that I got is brand new um, uh, float bowl gaskets. Now these are um, a lot taller and rounder versus the old ones are Kind of like almost half the height or maybe two-thirds of the height hence why they weren't sealing properly so we're gonna get these in uh, mount everything all the heat shields and all the other stuff back on this and take it back to the bike and try to start it so here we go all right we're back in the garage so this is the bike as it currently stands I put some towels in here to block off the intakes um, so I'm gonna take off the old rubber boots and then mount these guys back on so they're fully assembled as you can see and uh, yeah then I'm gonna put the tank back on plug the fuel back in hook up the throttle cables and uh, see if it starts all right all right guys so we got the carburetor uh, put back on after a little bit of struggle, I got the gas tank on, the fuel is plugged in, all the wiring is back in place. Uh, here's what it looks like right now. And we're gonna attempt to start the bike right now. So here we go. This is first try. Hi right, guys, so after switching the battery on the bike, um, something has happened with the electronics and now the ignition switch does nothing. Uh, so even turning the key doesn't turn on the lights. Uh, I tried switching back to the old battery, um, trying to boost the old battery, nothing really works. Uh, so something is up with the electronics. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna disassemble the back of the bike and uh, we're gonna deal with uh, restarting the motorcycle in another episode. So this is what the bike currently looks like. That's my battery from uh, another bike that I have. Uh, yeah, nothing is happening right now. So everything's plugged in. Uh, we turn the switch, nothing. So something's definitely burnt out, uh, but we'll figure it out. Either way, I was planning on redoing most of the electronics on the bike, so that's not too much of an issue. It just it's kind of a shame that I couldn't uh, get the engine running again. Either way. Moving on. All right, guys. So took off the uh, back cowl or whatever you want to call it, a little little fender and rear lights off the bike. Uh, it's a bit more stripped down. Unhooked all the electronics that were hooked up to the blinkers and the rear light. So yeah, for now, this will have to do. Next stop, I think what we'll do is I'm probably gonna order some uh, clip-ons and uh, try to relocate or rather move all the con current controls 
onto those and put them on a bit further down, maybe perhaps here. Uh, we'll see how I feel about their position. Uh, once we have the clip-ons in place, I'll probably turn our attention back again back to the electronics and hopefully getting the engine running again. Um, but for now, that's going to have to do in terms of progress. Alright guys, that was it for this episode. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the engine running uh, due to the electronics issues, uh, but whatever. Uh, electronics are going to get replaced later on. Uh, so make sure to subscribe uh, and click the little bell to get notifications when new videos in this series and others uh, on my channel uh, become available. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at BalkanMoto2018 and check out uh, www.balkanmoto.com where I post articles accompanying each of these videos with more details, images, um, and descriptions of what I've done. So thanks for watching and see you next time.